Shalom. Call Hala Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash. That's given all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And uh, shout out to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect. But real quick, I want to go into this video. I'm going to play it. Before I play, I want to grab a few scriptures, you know, just to throw the algorithm off a little bit because he does say the N-word. But um, it says, Rapper Logic and his black father discuss the racism of his white mother. Okay, so this rapper, Logic, okay, he appears to be a so-called white man, but really he, he's an Israelite. And he's sitting next here next to his father, who is obviously a Jake, and he's um, discussing about the racism of, of his mother. Okay, his mother, who was an Edomite, you know, um, which is a demon, you know, a, 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 a damn, a damn monster. <laughs> okay, and um, he what he had to deal with, you know, suffer from 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 his mother, proves that he is an Israelite. That's a part of the curses. So I got a few scriptures here laid out. Let me grab this first. This is Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. It says, "The the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit." That we are the children of God, right? So, um, you know, the spirit bear of witness, okay? The fact that he's, you know, going through that, the fact that he had to deal with that, you know, uh, being called a byword, you know, that 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 they hey, that proves it, you know, that just man is, a, a, you know, evidently a, a Israelite. Um, another thing is too, because you got these uh, black only Israelites, which I don't got a lot of time, so I'm gonna make this quick. All right, but you got a lot of so-called black only Israelites. And 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 you, and you and you even got Northern Kingdom only uh, uh, Israelites or Hispanic only Israelites. This truth, you know, you know, you 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 can't judge by appearance. Okay, looks can be deceiving. This is a spiritual thing. So let's go to John chapter seven verse twenty four. It says, "Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment." Okay, so just because something may look one way, does not mean that that's you know exactly what it is. So you got to judge righteous judgment. OK, you don't want to judge according to what, what way things may look, way things seem, you know, judge according to the outward. You, know, you got to look inwardly. All right. So now let's play play this video and see what he had to say. So for those of you out there who don't know, because I would really love to discuss this, but I'm going to ask you about a specific situation and then we can get into the rest of it. My mother, Terry Lee Miller, who was married, I don't know, three, four times, all to black men with systemic racism built into her. You know, you know, my mother used to call me a nigger. Did you know that? Dad? Yeah, but you want to know something? She never called me one. She called me that. And you know who else she called that? My sisters and Jesse and my brother. Mm. That's deep. Wow, that is deep. Yeah. And you especially, know what? especially when I'm black and... You know, she don't. She never called. But all her, all her other baby daddies is what? They're all black. Mm -hmm. Before we get into all that, so, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. What the fuck was I finna say? I'm gonna say hi to all you Logic fans out there. Hey, they about to be your fans, daddy. We finna do this album together, but we're not gonna get in. We don't want to talk about talk that too about much. That. We don't want to talk about that too much, daddy. We're we're here first. We're healing first, and then we're. So there you go. You see this man. He's sitting with his father, and they're discussing. You know, the way his mother treated him for being an Israelite, okay? Because we ain't black, we ain't niggas, we are Israelites, okay, according to the Bible. So Logic is an Israelite, all right? That's why he has the music talent that he has. But it says, Numbers 1, verse 18, And they assembled all the congregation together, one on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So you are what your father is. Whatever your father is, that's what you are. It says, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their post. So you were your your pedigree. OK, or lineage is is, is, the, is determined, declared by the house of your father, whoever your father is and his father and his father. All right. And that, uh, you know, that, that shows that even though because a lot of, you know, even ish people, the small heads, they say that, oh, it's because it, it's about who your mother is. No. Because his mother was Edomite and she still saw him as a N-word, okay? Which that's a part of the curses. Let's grab that real quick. That's a part of the curses, man, okay? So you got people all over the world because Jake was scattered among all the nations. So you got Jake all over the world being called, you know, these derogatory terms and they don't understand why. 
and they may even not look like, you know, your average Israelite, okay, or they don't look like Wesley Snipes, you know. It says, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. And that, that, that was a promise that if we didn't obey the Lord, if, if we didn't do, you know, what we were commanded to do, that all these curses would come upon us and overtake us. OK, verse 36, it says, and Yahweh will bring thee um, and thy king, which thou shalt, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thy father, which neither nor, Salakia, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And your average uh, Jake, you know, they either go on into Christianity with the with, with the cross, you know, they 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 reverence the cross, or they're you know into Islam, and they reverence the the, the uh, cobblestone. But here's the point, verse thirty-seven, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword. Okay, which that word it, it, that's a byword. It says, among all nations, whether the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. Okay, in uh, logic, you see how you know he kind of uh, apparently he felt he felt a type of way about his mom. You know, scripture says, honor thy mother and father. But at the end of the day, if your mother is an Edomite, she's going to be a, a slave. OK, she she is going to, you know, um, get the same judgment as the rest of her people and be a slave. All right. But because he is an Israelite, according to the seed of his father, he is going to be, uh, 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 you know, um, in, in the kingdom of heaven. All right. He is going to be, you know, w w one of those holy sons versus, um, you know, the heathen. Who will be in captivity, you know, who will, will be um, uh, uh, oppressed as they oppressed us. These curses that fell upon us is going to fall upon them. All right, let me grab that. It says, but let me read this again. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment. And we are an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether I will drive thee, whether I will lead thee. And, you know, that, that, that proverb is, oh, niggas like fried chicken, niggas like watermelon, niggas like Kool-Aid. Uh, Hispanic or well, Puerto Ricans always carry a knife, uh, uh, you know, um, we can go on and on. OK, this is something that we all, you know, had to deal with in, in different periods of our lifetime. You know, uh, that that prejudice, uh, you know, mistreatment. OK, a byword is like niggas, you know, speak um, wet back, you know, you go on on with, with uh, that, too. All right. So this shows you who we are. But guess what, what the Lord said? It says, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7, And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So, you know, you you, you nations that hate us and that persecute us, guess what? You're going to have to, you know, face the music. The Lord going to put his judgment upon you. Okay, all the hell that we had to suffer. Well, guess what? It's going to be your um, day, okay, to suffer, okay, to catch hell. This is Jeremiah chapter... Um, Uh, Jeremiah chapter 12 verse uh, 9 get right, get right to the point it says my mine heritage Lord's heritage is unto me as a speckled bird okay so what is a speckled bird a bird has a speckled bird has many different you know colors okay it has um, you know uh, different shades to it and that's Israel Israel comes in all different colors man okay we're not just one particular color you know and you got you even got hammer so got dark skin they ain't Israelites. All right. So it's not about color. It's not about the outward. It's about the inward. OK. The spirit bears witness. Um, OK. It says um, my inherit heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye assemble all the beasts of the field come to devour. So the birds round about which are the heathen. They are against us. OK. That's why his own mother had that, you know, Call, call, called him that man, you know, felt like that towards him. It says, Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard, they have trodden my portion underfoot, they have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness, right? And, um, you know, the fact that you know Israel does come in many shades, that's really the only reason why Esau was able to completely destroy us, okay? Let me grab this too, going into Ephraim, okay? 
because the northern kingdom, you know, you you, you may have, um, you may have, um, you 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 can have a, a northern kingdom family, whether it be Puerto Ricans, uh, Cubans, Colombians, Mexicans, and out of one family, same mother and father, they can be all different shades. All right. So it says uh, Hosea chapter seven, verse um, eight. It says Ephraim, which is the head tribe of uh, the Nor northern kingdom. He hath mixed himself among the people. This is what Ephraim was doing. They was mixing themselves among the people, the other nations. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So you see a pancake. If you put a pancake on the burner and you don't turn it, one side is going to be very dark and the other side is going to be, uh, you know, very light. OK, so. Um. You know, that's, that just goes in the example that we are many different shades and colors. OK, you can't, you know, you know, judge a book by its cover and say, oh, well, you're not dark enough to be Israelite. No, that, that's not true. OK, this is saying the Black Panther movement. It says Ephraim is a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength and he knoweth it not. Yeah, gray hairs are here and there upon him. Yet he knoweth it not. Right. So Ephraim, you know, going into the northern kingdom as a whole. Is a cake unturned? They come in many different shades, you know, and colors. All right, which this is also another sign that we are the Israelites because we are in this land being oppressed together, and all over the world we've been oppressed together. But you know, especially here in America, you know, you got you know, the, you know, the different tribes coming here, you know, because you got you also got Haitians, you got you know the the, the Mexicans, you got the, the Colombians, the, the Nicaraguans. All, all these nations are coming over here. You know, all these tribes are coming here to the U.S. just to be oppressed together. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33. It says, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Israel, you so-called northern kingdom. It's like you, or you so-called Hispanics and Native, and Native Indians who are the northern kingdom. And Judah are you so-called Negroes, uh, uh, Haitians, Jamaicans, okay, and uh, Caribbean islands. It says... Uh, and Judah were oppressed together. So we, we we are being oppressed together under the hand of these damn Edomites, these devils. It says, and all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. So they held us fast and refused to let us go. Okay. And this is why the Lord is going to come and destroy this man. Okay. Take him out of power. But you saw how when Logic said that, you know, he kind of lost track of, 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 what, of, of what he was saying, you know, because it obviously... Made him feel a type of way, you know, it it, 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 it brought back, you know, m m memories that, you know, he wasn't too pleasant of. And that's that happens to all of us. You know, you get called, you know, a nigga. <laughs> hey, man, that shit, that shit, you know, with that hard R, you feel that shit in your soul. OK, you feel that shit in your soul, man. And the reason why is because, you know, we all ha had to in endure that, you know, in captivity. In this captivity and, and 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 in other captivities, you know, being called these uh, bywords, man, you know, being dis which is disrespectful. It's a derogatory term, you know. So to hear that from somebody that, that's supposed to be, you know, your mother, that's supposed to, you know, nurture you, a a, I, I can only imagine how he must have felt. All right, but that just shows you that we are Israelites. He is an Israelite, and you know, our redemption is nearer than we believe. Whatever it said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Ababa, Ball, Princess, the Edifant, and Hopeful Lex.